All right. This is up in about an hour, so we'll do a couple runs in the daily, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do for today. As I do want to get to live alive. I'll do an Eden run. Oh, Bible. Three one shots. Oh, you know what? I, I think I know what it is. Hold up. I'm playing on projector mode and I shouldn't be for this. That's why it feels a little weird. I'm gonna swap my monitor source to directly to the PS5. That might be the reason. Give it a sec. Okay, that's better. <laughs> There are certain games I, I can just do projector mode because latency doesn't matter, but for this it does. This is a decent item, decent stats. Like, everything is, is pretty much just starting. For now, we'll just stick with the basic path. I'm not bothering with alternates today. <laughs> Easy. Alright, let it, let it be. I was just gonna ensure it for that. Even this, I'm going in. Help. Well, that fucked me a, a little. Get that health back. That pill, if I get it again as well, it becomes a health up pill, so I just gotta find it again. Oh wow, I'm surprised.
please let it be that pill I took. Drop speed down. Damn it. rooms like this. Ugh. Taking flight. Surprising. Hey, Evie, how's it going? Thank you so much for the raid. How is the stream? What are you up to today? Oh, thanks for the follow, Lion Fox. Yeah, I'm just playing a bit of The Binding of Isaac, and then I'm gonna check out this RPG called Live Alive, which is a remake of an old Super Nintendo RPG. Hi, Evie. I don't know if you missed that. I, I did say hi. It might have been an ad thing, though, in all fairness. Bombs are key. I feel like Twitch ads lately, they've been... I don't know. They've just been happening constantly. I seem to get them a lot more than I used to. <laughs> all 25 months old chicken, hell yeah. How's it going, Lolo? You did hear, don't get ads, you still paid for Twitch Turbo? Twitch Turbo is still a thing? I thought they got rid of it. Might have to look into that because it's been getting really annoying lately. I ended up checking out Stray. It was a lot of fun. And I did get, get up pretty lost. I was wandering around the map for ages and there were certain things that I just could not find. I must have spent a good hour looking for uh, the energy drink. I found two of the energy drink, drink cans but I couldn't find the third. Uh, eh, just keep going. How's things, Lolo? It's, it's been a while. You found three, but not the fourth. Okay, no, I, that's what I meant, then. 
I found all of them but one. You needed the one to buy the music sheet. Okay, see I... I bought the music sheet right up front. The music sheet stuff was a little annoying because you would give the guy a music sheet and then he would start playing music and sometimes it would go for like a good three, five minutes. Am I still stuck on that? Nah, I skipped it. I just kept going on with the game. I decided it probably wasn't worth the time. I mean, it was- it was a fun game overall. You'll probably play it again and go for 100%. Fair enough. I think I'd have to wait for a bit more time. And Lela, you're doing alright, just been on a weird working schedule lately, slanging that boba. <laughs> no, no more uh, boba drama. I know, I, I feel inclined to ask every time. Like, deep down inside, I do hope things are good and there's no more petty drama, but at the same time, it's entertaining to hear, like, there's just this whole rivalry and stuff in the boba world. It's kind of wild. Like, it, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> it's just... You could make a TV show about it. Yeah, we'll have to catch up soon, dude, and play something. I ended up finishing Risk of Rain completely, so, like, I'm, I'm done with Risk of Rain. As difficult as a climb that was, I, I got it done. Gotten my stubborn gamer thing out of the way for the year. Nothing specifically Boba Wars, unfortunately. Ah, that's alright. Time for the mods. Ah. Uh... I did check out mods a little bit, not that extensively. With mods, I mean, some of them are well designed, but then there's others where they're just obviously better than the stuff that's in the game normally. There's definitely cool character mods. But I think it's fine to put that game on the shelf for a while. I had been playing it uh, pretty much constantly just to get it finished. Ah, oh, 
God damn it, I took a hit. What is that? Glass eye, luck plus damage up. Okay, it's just stats, nothing interesting. The one that I do want to check out is like, once Terraria gets its uh... It's not really a big patch, but it's, it's I guess, one of the bigger patches they've done in a while. Um, I might check out some of the mods, because now they're fully compatible, and those are, those are decent. So maybe then, if you, if you feel like playing Terraria, Lilo, <laughs> making an attempt to finish it, don't worry, it won't be master mode, but I've, I've like, uh... I think I've just given up on ever finishing master mode, it's just too annoying. I'm tenacious and stubborn to a point, right? It's like, if a game lets me believe that I'm gonna finish it and do everything, then I, of course, I will keep bashing my head against that brick wall until I get it done. But if I made a game with a difficulty that just kind of kicks you in the face immediately, then I'm less likely to do that. It's a bit weird. It's like, not total completionism. I have to be fooled into thinking, yes, this is doable, it's easy. It's totally within your skill. Yeah, I guess I'll let you know. The patch, it doesn't have a release date, but it's soon. Oh, you know, of course, if you want to fire up Risk of Rain as well, I like that. It's, I would play it. Just in the context of multiplayer. But for me, single player, like, I'm done with it. I've, I've gotten everything I need to get. Sorry to raid and run, but it's 5.30 a.m. Oh no, don't ever apologize for that, Evie. I understand. But, uh, yeah, either way, thank you so much for the raid. Get yourself some rest, have a good night. I'll, I'll try to pop in during the week, it just depends on my, my work schedule. the other way. Oh yeah, Lolo, were you the one that... I think you were the one that was... Uh, that introduced us to, like... Mac and Me, that movie. The really bad one. I think it came up once in the conversation. Anyway, long story short, we did end up watching it. In Discord the other day. Oh boy. The acting and uh, just everything in that movie, geez. And how all the problems can be solved by just uh, having a refreshing Coca-Cola beverage. The E.T. McDonald's fever dream. Yeah, I mean, it's a giant commercial for McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and... I don't know, I think it's Valvoline, some oil company. Oh, no, the scene, the scene where the kid is, uh, he goes off the edge in the wheelchair, fucking hell. It's hysterical.
McDonald's saw ET and thought, yeah, we can do that. Yeah. I think a lot of that stuff, there was definitely a conversation on how can we one up ET? So it's like they have they have a kid that's kind of adorable. How do we one up that? Put him in a wheelchair. And the dance competition occurring inside the McDonald's. Yeah, that's that's where all the cool kids hang out. I've also been watching um, that genre of really bad. I mean, I guess they're cartoons. They're cartoons. It's just a bunch of cartoons that have been made just to be on autoplay for parents that give children their iPad or tablet or phone or whatever and just go, yep, yeah, play some kids' videos. Some of the shit that is on there is pretty wild. It's just these channels that have, uh, I guess figured out a way onto the algorithm. Yeah, it's it's like the Finger family, but it's, it's way more cursed. And the best part about it is, I mean, they don't draw anything, right? Like, or make any assets themselves. It's all taken from stock imagery and uh, 3D models that they can get their hands on easily. So, at the moment, Sonic's big because of the movie, right? Like, it's a bit of a resurgence. Little kids love the Sonic movie. I have younger relatives, and they all love it. So, that's why Sonic the Hedgehog is, like, a massive thing at the moment for them. And some of the things that, uh, it depicts is kind of wild. But anyway, um, the 3D models for Sonic that are freely available, hilariously, mainly come from hentai, or just really bad, uh, porn that people have made, and of course they make the assets available free, so more of that content can be made. So a lot of the time, these characters are doing these hand gestures where, let's just say if you use your imagination, you can imagine what they're actually doing, as opposed to uh, what they want them to try and do. It might be as innocuous as like holding a drink in their hand, and you know, they drop the drink and then you see, oh, that's, that's the hand grabbing gesture that we're doing. Um, it's pretty funny. And the stories are just... You'll get whiplash watching it. We were watching one where the title of it was, like, Hot versus Cold Pregnancy. So, like, one of the characters has a womb that is ice cold and the other one has a womb that is boiling hot. And then somewhere along the line, there's a rivalry that happened between the two pregnancies. And somehow, one of, like, the fire babies end up inside the ice baby area. Just ridiculous. I can't make this shit up. What the fuck? Yeah. I might- I might have to do like another viewing night of it. Or just collect the ones that are... ...safe to show on Twitch, I guess. I might have to compile them. Uh, I'm thinking. I'll roll the dice. May as well get the heal from that. Touch it for the book. Nope. Eh, I mean, the other thing wasn't damage up anyway, so... <laughs> Hello, Uchiha. How's it going? Yeah, they just casually pop into the other womb, just like it's nothing. I swear, you, you could turn- you could turn it into a drinking game. Because there's tropes that they use in them that's common across all of them. So one of them, for whatever reason, is just like... Sonic will suddenly start coughing, or just... Randomly at some point, Sonic the Hedgehog will 
will trip over, something will happen. They'll go to the doctor, the doctor hands them a message. And it's it's a diagram of a heart, and obviously he's got some sort of heart failure. And then he just dies. <laughs> That's it. And the amount of times where that plot will just constantly happen, just out of nowhere. Oh yeah, the rock, yep. There's, there's a particular rock that always happens. One of the characters um, will just... It doesn't matter if they're in a relationship or anything. It doesn't matter the situation. She gets given a present, she switches partners. That's another one. Poor people being dirty. That's another one. It's, it's just wild. Oh, I've done both. Alright, cool. But I should still go for the negative. Get them done. Yeah, I think I'll have to set a time aside and do a proper viewing of it, maybe. Anyway, that's- that's, uh, that's me. Hello. If you're new here, this is the kind of stuff that goes on around here. It's like... Gameplay and then just strange internet oddities. You would love to see a study on whether or not these videos have any effect on the children when it comes to development. Dude, that's the scary thing, because... Like... These, there are parents that just put autoplay and they don't really look at what their kids are looking at. That's the thing. And... Like... It's not the content that's bad, right? Like, there's stuff in there where you go, okay, yeah, that's... That's kinda not great for a kid to see, right? At an early age. But... The problem is, a lot of them speak in very broken English. Because I, I think it's all offshore stuff, right? So it's not people that speak proper English. So their grammar will be bad. Mispronunciation of words. Like, okay, put the violence, drugs, kidnapping... Um... Aside, right? I think the problem is just how they talk. It's not great. You know what I you know what I equate it to, right? It's like when my brothers were growing up, there were two kinds of kids shows. There was the kind like uh Blue's Clues or Dora the Explorer, where the person in that show was talking to the children, but like in normal English. And of course there was like, you know, repetition but at least they were speaking to the kids in a normal speaking voice. And then there was stuff like the Teletubbies, where it was just random garbage noise. Where they wouldn't speak properly. Like, just brain rot, basically. Oh, yes, Tinkle Winkle, my mom is Tinkle Winkle. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Ah. <laughs> ah. Tally Tubby said smoke some shit, they were high. I think the creative must have. Boobers were worse, that shit needed Jesus. I don't think uh, boobers were a thing here. Also, that name, jeez, dude. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's like junk food for the brain, basically. And that's what these... These videos are, the ones that, uh, they're just put on randomly for children. Like, set and forget. <laughs> What is making that s- oh, this thing. Maybe it was just an American thing, it's possible.
I mean, for us, it was like Blue's Clues, Dora the Explorer, Bob the Builder. And then Teletubbies, I think. Wait, what's this? Oh my god. I just, I, you, you put a picture in Discord. <laughs> that is cursed. Yeah, no, like, uh, I can definitely see it. It's... it's not great. I don't know, man. Kids shows have changed quite a bit. Joker. The Hanged Man. I'll wait until I finish the stage to use it. Although, eh, right, I guess right now is not a bad idea. Do it. Joker. Holy shot. part about this is I cannot tell how much health I have left. I kind of have to wing it here. You think it's easy to wave it away as like whatever kids won't remember but you remember. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's a matter of that I think it's going to scar them, I think it's going to just slow down early development, so to speak, like how to enunciate properly, that sort of thing. Speed up. I think it's better, like, you curate a list of stuff that your kids can watch as opposed to, like, just relying on the algorithm. <laughs> the thumbnails are, al are also pretty funny. Like, particularly non-parent parents who are going to have their kids' first words be in a foreign accent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude. You, you would appreciate this as well. <laughs> they steal a lot of uh, sound effects from... From Dragon Ball. So, like, they'll get into a fight, one of them will get angry and make, like, a power-up sound like Goku. So they've just taken a clip where Goku's powering up. So Sonic the Hedgehog will randomly make that sound every now and then. It's great. I don't know, the more I talk this up, the more I feel like I should just play one. Just to kind of give you a feel for it.
You kind of want to start one of those channels. There's money to be made in it. That's the crazy part. It's just like all of it's advertising money and it's just comes down to there's a lot of people doing that autoplay stuff for children. Pretty much anything they do has come down to like it's what gets them on the algorithm for that specifically. Alright, tell you what, if you're good chat, I'll show Infested. one of the videos. How does that sound? Infested. <laughs> Ooh, this is not bode well for me. Sell your soul for that ad revenue money. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I don't think a lot of these channels that are doing this know that, uh... Like, I'm, I'm almost certain that it's not that they're getting broken English voice actors or whatever. I think that's just the best of their abilities. Oh shit, I went the wrong way, I just realized. I autopiloted and went here. And I should have gone down, so this run's just gonna end. I keep doing that. That's why I always get the... the stuff to do with the negative done first, because I'm never... Yeah, I mean... No. Like, I died because it's kind of pointless. I already have the mark for this. I didn't go down the right way, so leave it. Okay, hang on. Let me... Let me find one. Give me a sec. <laughs> this will be very impo impromptu. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. No. Th th this one's. This one seems good. Okay. Let me just switch monitor sources and I'll mute the PS5. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? So this is what I'm talking about. Oh no, I am pregnant slash funny pregnant situations. Yummy. <laughs> Perfectly normal so far. Oh, Sonic, what are you doing? <laughs> now, I want you to pay attention to Sonic's hand gesture here. Just... Yeah. I wonder what, what motion that could be indicating. Oh no. What is this teaching? What are you laughing at? Look at this. What is this teaching? So now now Sonic is fat. I'm exhausted. Oh dear. <laughs> you know what, I probably shouldn't be playing this full screen just in case, but, eh. So wait. What? So hang, hang on. Where, where is that? Hold up, hold, hold the fuck up. What do you mean? Like, where is this- where is this baby that's being depicted coming from? Mm. 
The, is, is Sonic pregnant? What? Is, is this what this is depicting? What do you mean? Oh my god. <laughs> so wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Did, did the pregnancy just somehow transfer to Sonic? I need to get feet. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Didn't I see her belly bit went flat? I just thought he got fat from eating the food. I didn't- it, it didn't occur that the pregnancy got transferred to Sonic. Follow the lore? Oh, just fuck off. You see what I mean? This- this is just yielding brain rot. There it was, the Dragon Ball power-up sound. Oh my god. Please forgive me. <laughs> Please. Baby. Baby. Huh? <laughs> oh, now, now, now it's back to normal. All right, and you know, that, that teaches children the miracle of life and how it can be consciously transferred to someone as a point of revenge and comeuppance. Yeah, great. Anyway. <laughs> Fucking hell. I hadn't seen that one yet. That was, uh, that was interesting. All right, sorry, I'm just swapping sources back to Isaac. How far we have strayed from the light, indeed. Ugh, yeah. If you want to go down a rabbit hole, just look up Sonic the Hedgehog family movies or Sonic the Hedgehog funny. And those things will come up. Like, you'll know the thumbnails when you see them. It's just wild, dude. Ooh, I got... Delirium. That's- would you believe me if I said that's probably one of the more mild plots that I've seen? Like, it, it wasn't that bad. Like, sure it was absurd and stupid, it was like, walk a mile in my shoes I guess was the lesson. But, there are other ones that it's just like, they, they will just end abruptly. <laughs> anyway. I was providing commentary there, so I hope fair use applies. I think, yeah, the, the, this is basically the current era of my streams is like strange videos and I've been playing Wario games quite a bit and I've been doing Wario voices constantly.
Have I heard of Astral Ascent? Uh, I don't think I have. What is it? I'm going to be checking out uh, Live Alive after this, which is a pretty neat RPG game. Oh, okay, that makes this a bit trivial. Thanks, friend. Oh, I probably should have gone and gotten the battery. Oh well. Uh, D6. Okay, so anything on the pedestal re-rolled. Action roguelike with bosses based off the zodiac sign. Can be share played with two people, super pretty and pixel art and stuff. Let me see. Astral Ascent. Ah, uh, early access. Okay. I'll I'll look at it. It does look neat. like $34, which I'm like, eh. For something early access. I'll, I'll add it to a wish list and keep an eye on it. I hate these enemies, how quick they are. That's the reason you haven't gotten it too. Looks gorgeous there, yeah. Power pill. It's a bit much to ask, in my opinion, in terms of early access. I've still got to finish Rogue Legacy as well, like I've, I've got that as well. another roguelike I've kind of been playing on and off. If it goes on sale for $15, you'll probably grab it. Yeah, I think that would be my rationale. Is like, if the price is half that on a sale, yeah. Stony. This room sucks. I don't think I'm gonna get my key. Risk of rain is always good, but you're always looking for another good roguelike to sink your teeth into. Yeah. That's why I came back to this, because I, I never really played it properly. And I picked it up on PlayStation, so then I can track the achievements and everything properly. This is not good in terms of items. Unfortunately, I couldn't get... Hmm. Yeah, no, not worth the risk. Alright, go down. I 
I've kind of wanted to find something else to play from a multiplayer perspective as well. Something that isn't like a shooter or a battle royale or along those lines. Like a l nothing live servicey. I've heard good things about Raft, but I haven't picked it up because it'll be like a case of, well, okay, that is like one of those you have to have someone to play it with type deals. You'd play Raft, yeah. I'll add it to the wish list and see when it comes on sale. I know it's a survival game and that there's hunger and everything, but I've said it before, it's like, as long as it's in a multiplayer sense, I'm okay with it. I can't do survival games on my own. I will just forget that I have to eat. It's my problem. Oh shit. No, but this means I skipped the whole floor. I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I have more to gain. <sighs> Fuck. Well, I guess I got no choice. This is probably not going to go well because now I'm down two items and all I got was one. One that's kind of mediocre. It looks like I'm only going to get the daily. Today is not my day <laughs> in Isaac. Hey, you should have seen the very last uh, Risk of Rain run I did for Eclipse 8. It was kind of magical. It's the perfect way to end uh, what I was doing in that game. I got a captain run where I had rockets on zero cooldown. So it was just constantly firing them and yeah, it was great. No monsters on the screen at any point. I thought the game was going to crash from lagging at one point, and that was scary. going to win not going to win <laughs> I have very bad damage all my damage is coming out from my equipment that I have to clear 12 rooms to even use
Okay, that changes things a little. It, it does put me in a better position. This item, unfortunately, isn't as good as it used to be. I need health. I need health desperately. Okay. Little relief, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna get this so I know where I'm going. I think I'll deposit the rest. Ooh, sweet. I might hold on to this, just to make things easier later. Because that is two whole charges of it. have health to gamble. Okay, that's nice. Oh jeez. <laughs> They're making everything slow. Dude. Oh, well. Uh, there is a library that way. It looks like the stage has got a theme of slow stuff. I'm trying to do this in the 20 minute box so then I can do boss rush. Oh no. <laughs> Shit. Mm. The random speed up could get me killed.
cool room. Very cool room. Wait, oh, this doesn't have an item in it. Tears. Oh, th this run is cursed. There's a die shard, okay. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna go buy it. After I finish the boss. Three minutes to get to the end of the next floor. Dice shot. Yeah, that did not work for me. Also beat the boss in that time. I'm just not doing enough damage. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna make it. This room kind of messed me up. This boss is very evasive. A good run. Yep, I got less than a minute. Oh, another boss, yeah. Slow me down even more. I appear to have gotten the boss type that doesn't stomp much and is just going to keep sending enemies at me. I think I pretty much lost the moment that the floor I was doing, I, I got a teleport to like that area that just skips you to the next floor. I mean, it's unlikely I'm going to survive past this. But, that's well, just humor the game, you never know. Maybe a Christmas miracle will happen. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> no, just dead. Okay, uh, I'll do the daily run and then I'll move on to live alive, so. Let's just get through this. Ooh, okay. Well, it definitely wants me to gamble here. Full health. Yeah, right away. This was probably a poor choice upon reflection. I don't have damage and I'm fighting this thing. What is wrong with me? I didn't even realize I already had the key to begin with. Focus that thing. No, stop spawning that thing. My thing is so annoying. Yeah, I, I probably fucked this. Alright, so much for doing the daily. <laughs> ah, fuck. Alright. That was my bad, I got too greedy. Okay, never mind, let's just move on to Live or Live, because clearly I'm cursed with luck in this today. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to do the daily, but I admittedly, uh... did not do the right move there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's fine. At least we had some fun watching Sonic the Hedgehog, right? We got something out of today. Alright, give me like five minutes or so. Um, I'm just gonna get a drink and... ...put the cable back into the Switch, because it's currently in the Wii U. So, I'll need like five, but we're gonna start Live Alive. <laughs> 